so here is a um, basically it's a uh, sample of the new DC Collectibles Designer Series um, DC Bombshells Harley Quinn. Uh, this was it was a Toy Fair exclusive um, given out at Toy Fair by DC Collectibles. Um, so uh, this is going to be hitting the market soon. But in the meantime, let's open her up and take a look at her. All right, so uh, obviously the final production is going to have uh, more accessories, probably have extra hands, um, a few weapons. This is a sample. So uh, I believe it probably is a final um, production sample uh, but nonetheless all right so let's take a look take it the take a look at the face here pretty clean sculpting and paint apps on the face you see the lips have like a glistening lip gloss the eyes are very clean even the cheeks very clean on it the paint apps in the hair uh, we know Harley Quinn um, has like blonde and red streaks in some designs so this has you know a little red here and there so definitely um, it's intended to be kind of blotchy I believe in certain spots so let's take a look at the articulation let's check out the shoulders here so lifting up the arms okay so this one's a little looser than the other one let's try it over here i didn't want to snap okay so <clears throat> right out the package the arms are a little stiff uh, you see this arm should rotate up about as high as this one um, and even give let's see a good rotation straight above the head it's on a little ball joint here let's try all right so we can put our arm straight up above our head but as far as lifting it up it feels a little stiff to a point where it's more or less stop right there if i if i continue to to push uh, I feel like I'm going to end up breaking the bicep right here because that's kind of bending outwards. So uh, when you do get these, I would advise possibly to use a blow dryer. Um, straight out of package, again, these were in ideal conditions and it's still, the plastic is still a little iffy. Um, but let's look at the rest of the articulation. So right here, we, we don't have a bicep swivel, but we have a, a cut in the arm and the and the bicep here we do have double hinged elbows let's see what else and as far as the wrist goes your hinge wrist um, that spins and can flex Same on the other hand. Um, now, the hands that she comes with uh, for this figure are balled up like fists. I'm assuming that um, knowing the way they do the different hands that you will have open hands, uh, uh, an open hands option with the figure uh, to change out into. All right, so let's look here. The jacket. The jacket is kind of... It's a little loose up around the neck. It's glued right here on um, like the boob tips. And you got a little movement in the back here. Let's take a look at the, uh, the paint app on the back of the jacket. It says Joker's, Joker's Wild. That's what it says on the back of the jacket. Pretty smooth uh, paint job on there for the Joker. Now she has a, actually she, 
right under the uh, the ribs or the boob, you can get some rotation left and right, and even a little movement. And then she, even beyond that, she still has uh, an ab crunch. So you definitely have a good range of motion there. Um, her belt here. Does it come off? No, the belt does not come off. Um, if you take it off, it'll most likely break. But it has a little bat insignia there on the belt buckle. So this is supposed to be more or less uh, like her utility, utility belt. All right, so let's take a look at the legs. Right here in the legs, we have a ball hinged. You're able to get a good front kick with it. You're able to get a decent split. I don't want to... Kicking backwards, that's about as much as you're going to get. So, good range of motion. The, uh, the shorts are molded onto the figure, with the figure, I should say. Um, so, it's not like with some of the... Um, let me see, like the DC multiverse figures where you have the separation in like the crotch where the shorts are for some of the figures and it kind of hinders some of the movement, some of some of the figures, not all. All right, now we go down into the leg, the articulation, uh, the details. She's got her little Joker card here. Now at the top of the thigh, we have a cut. So you can get a little extra posability. Then we have double jointed knees. So definitely get good range of motion, posability, everything to like. Now come down to the ankle. There is no swivel at the ankle, but we do have uh, pivot at the ankle down here. Now I'm sorry, I meant mid calf. There's no uh, calf cut, but we do have some articulation at the ankle. Actually, fully spin up and down. So definitely good articulation at the ankle. <clears throat> Overall, without seeing uh, the figure with accessories or any weapons, uh, it is a pretty clean figure. Uh, the Sculpt, very clean. Nice attention to detail, uh, especially on the jacket, you know, the playing card down here and the face. Definitely like the face on this figure. Uh, did an excellent job with the sculpt. Uh, and actually, since we're up here, I forgot the head. Full, full range of motion in the head. Um, the goggles do not come off the head, though. All right, so paint apps are great on this. Uh, and articulation is pretty good. I would just advise um, final samples when you do get them or final product. Uh, I would heat up the shoulders, the arms. Uh, they seem a little wobbly at some parts. Um, not all, but just uh, a little bit, especially up here by the shoulders, the bicep, and the elbows. So uh, heat them up. Give a little, a little heat to that before you take it out, pose them, play with them. Uh, and she should be just fine. All right, so this is, uh, again, a Toy Fair exclusive. This is an, an early sample, I believe. Um, love the figure. Uh, besides not getting any weapons with it or extra hands, um, and overall, no complaints. So thanks for checking me out, guys. Uh, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, uh, The Ultimate Toy Collector. And uh, until next time, guys, happy hunting.